and treatment plans safely. And our minimally invasive procedures can help you heal faster. We have the expertise to keep you moving because every movement matters. Find the care you need locations throughout Houston. Houston Rockets, leading medicine. AT&T Sportsnet is your home of the Houston Rockets. Visit AT&TSportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch the Rockets all season long. From pregame to postgame, watch every game only on AT&T Sportsnet. Tudor Fieldhouse, Houston, Texas. It's the North Texas Mean Green and the Rice Owls. Learfield today, the Varsity Network app, and also on YouTube today. Great to have you with us, however you are consuming this presentation. Let's do the starting lineups now between North Texas and Rice. We will start with the visiting North Texas Mean Green under the direction of Jaylene Mitchell. She's actually a North Texas grad, graduated back in 2002. This is her sixth season at the helm of the Mean Green. Three guards today for them. Quincy Noble is the first, a 5'10 redshirt senior from McKinney, Texas. The other guards are a 5'9 junior from Dallas, Texas, Jazian Jackson, and a 5'6 graduate from Irving MacArthur High School, Ali Gomez. The two forwards for North Texas today are Jalen Mallard, a 6'2 junior from Little Rock, Arkansas, and a 6'0 junior, rather graduate, from Duncanville, Texas, Madison Townley. Again, the lineup for the Mean Green today, Noble, Jackson, and Gomez are the guards. The forwards are Mallard and Townley. Now the starters for the Rice Owls under the direction of Lindsey Edmonds, her first year at the helm as the head coach of the Owls. Two guards today and three forwards. The two guards, a 5'9 sophomore from Mansfield, Texas, Destiny Jackson, and a 5'10 freshman from Midwest City, Oklahoma, Trinity Gooden. The three forwards are Malia Fisher. She's a 6'2 freshman from Georgia, a 6'0 redshirt freshman from State College, Pennsylvania, Maya Bukinevich, and a 6'0 sophomore from Johns Creek, Georgia, Ashley Austin. Again, the Owls go in with Jackson and Gooden at the guards. The forwards are Fisher, Bukinevich, and Austin. Those are the starters between the main grade of North Texas and the Rice Owls. And with that, our final break, our pregame report. When we come back, it's the tip between the main green and the Owls. This is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and YouTube. Just about all set to go from Tudor Fieldhouse on this Super Sunday. It's North Texas and Rice. Jason Metko with you from Tudor Fieldhouse on the Rice Owl Sports Network from Learfield and YouTube today. North Texas, the visitors today, they are in predominantly black uniforms with dark green names and numerals. Rice, pretty much all white, save for the dark blue names and numerals stitched in black. Again, the lineup for the main green, Quincy Noble, Jazzy and Jackson, and Ali Gomez, the guards. Jalen Mallard and Maddie Townley are the forwards. For Rice, it's Destiny Jackson and Trinity Gooden at the guard positions. Malia Fisher, Maya Bukinevich, and Ashley Austin will be the forwards. North Texas to jump with Jalen Mallard. And Rice will send in Malia Fisher. And we are all set to go from Tudor Fieldhouse on a Sunday. It's a makeup game of a game that was supposed to be on New Year's Day. Ball tipped up twice and North Texas wins the tip and we are underway. Jazzy and Jackson will move it to the right wing. Give it to Ali Gomez, now back to Jackson. 
in the middle of the key for Maddie Townley. Double teamed already. Probably going to see a lot of that here this afternoon, one would imagine. Townley trying to feed it in the near corner. Did find the intended target, Noble. Now they'll take it baseline. Fadeaway jumper from the right block. Not enough from Jackson. Here come the Rice Owls in the home whites today. Destiny Jackson will settle things up at the top of the key. Outlets right to Ashley Austin who takes it to the right block. Swings it over the far corner. Now they'll go back left wing. A three, Jackson. High off the heel. Maya Bukinevich the rebound, but made contact apparently. Bumped into Gomez. So that's Maya's first and the first team foul for anybody today. Mean green ball. Winners of the last three. UTSA, UAB, both of those were on the road. And then one at the Super Pit back on Thursday against these Rice Owls. Minute gone by, no score yet here in Houston. So glad you've joined us on this Sunday. Very festive day for sure. Jackson down low finding Noble, and Quincy Noble scores the first two points of the ball game. Mean Green up two. Jackson into the front court for the Mean Green with Fisher on the point. Jackson back to Malia Fisher. Bounce pass right block, tried to go to Ashley Austin. Just a little bit off. Turnover and it's North Texas basketball. Few Mean Green fans here today. Most of them sitting behind the bench. Far side of us to our right and a strong contingent of Rice fans as always here at Tudor Fieldhouse. 8.30 to go, first quarter of our four act play. It's a two nothing lead for the visitors from Denton. Noble in the right wing double team, back to Destiny Jackson, or rather Chassie and Jackson. I knew I was gonna do that at least once today with a Jackson on each side of the floor. Jazian moves into the far corner. Wild prayer of a shot from Noble that had no chance. Here comes Rice the other way, left to right. Destiny Jackson on ahead to Maya Bukinevich. Maya to the free throw line. Back to Ashley Austin for three in the lead. Caught the front part of the rim, but did not drop. Rebound North Texas. Jazzy and Jackson on ahead. Takes it to the left wing. High pass on top. Matty Tanley will settle it down a little bit. Now back to Jackson. It's a 2-0 lead from North Texas. Looking to win their fourth straight. Ball taken underneath the basket, though picked up by Malia Fisher. Rice looking to go above 500 on the season at home. North Texas has only won only a couple of games on the road this season in conference play. Austin, underhand lay and not enough juice on that to drop. The rebound to Maddie Townley of the Mean Green. 7.25 and counting to go. First quarter, 2-0 lead, North Texas. Mean Green in the black from right to left. Kick basketball off the shin of Fisher, her left shin, in front of the Rice bench, and it will stay North Texas basketball with the shot clock at 20 seconds. Noble will throw it into Jackson, give it right back to Quincy. And again to Jackson. Gomez left side, and to Maddie Townley, almost triple teamed. Jackson inside, and there's two points put down for the Mean Green. And Jalen Mallard has found the scoreboard, and it is a 4-0 lead for the visitors today. Two minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Another kick ball, this time against Maddie Townley, and it will stay with Rice. Owls this season as a team shooting 65.7% from the field, North Texas a little bit better, 68.5%. Bukinevich at the top for Rice. Right side, Ashley Austin, and now foul away from the ball as Trinity Gooden went down. And I believe this is against Mallard. It is, good guess, Metco. More of an assumed observation, I guess you could say. Foul was on the floor. It's the first team foul on the main green in the contest. Bukinevich on high, leaving it for Gooden, and now hands off for Jackson. Shot clock's down to 10. Jackson, left-hand dribble to the left block extended. Swings it on high. Austin, pull up three. Made it. Ashley Austin with a tray. That's her 12th tray this season. And Rice's deficit is cut down to one. 6.20 and counting to go in the first stanza. Townley, left side. Gomez the other way for three. Off the front part of the rim. And the rebound is uncontested. It goes out of bounds in front of the Rice bench, and it will be Owl basketball. The North Texas men were here yesterday facing the Rice men. North Texas won that matchup. The Green men team are something to behold. First in scoring defense in the entire country. 
Bukinevich will back up and has the ball taken away from her. Nice read, Aliganes. And finishes with the two. 6-3 lead for North Texas. 5.47 and counting to go. Quarter number one from Tudor Fieldhouse on this Super Sunday. I hear there's some game that's pretty big coming up later. Stolen basketball in the corner. Nice read, Mallard. Here come the mean green and the black. Near wing, it's Quincy Noble. Pass right side, Jackson. Jazzian thought about a three, now pulls back and reassesses. Feed it far corner, Townley. Shot clock down to 10. Jackson, left wing, Noble for three. Air ball. And out of bounds, baseline left, back to Rice. 6-3, North Texas leads. Mean Green shooting 43% from the field so far. Rice is one of four in that category. That's very simple math, 25%. Approaching five minutes to go in the opening quarter. North Texas has led the entirety of the quarter. Fisher for three and the tie, made it! Back-to-back -back threes for the, the home team Owls. And we are knotted up at six. Don't want to live and die by the three though if you're Rice. Ball out of bounds. Right block could not be handled by Mallard, and it will be Rice basketball after the timeout on the floor. 4.46 to go till the end of the first. It's Rice and North Texas tied at six. This is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and on YouTube. We interrupt your top 40 hits to issue this alert from the Carbock Brewing Company. In our efforts to brew our distinct and popular Hoppadillo IPA, we have unwittingly created a monster. A monster with an insatiable thirst. A monster that will not stop until it gets what it wants. An Hoppadillo <coughs> IPA. Just like the one I'm holding in my hand. Cold, flavorful, dry out, irresistible. Sweet Mary! Hoppadillo, find it before it finds you. Bravely brewed in Texas by the Carbock Brewing Company. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 <coughs> built the things that make Rice University and Houston great, and we want you to join us. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. Rockets fans, the NBA returns on December 22nd, and AT&T is your home for everything Rockets. <coughs> between Rice and North Texas. 4.46 to go. First quarter, a couple other games in Conference USA going on today at halftime. Western Kentucky is leading UTSA. Now strike that. That's now been updated significantly. <laughs> They're down to about four minutes to go in the third. UTSA is up six on Western Kentucky, 46-40. Marshall has defeated UTEP today, 60-48. to And Middle Tennessee won better than Charlotte, 46-45. After the timeout on the floor, it's Owls basketball. Not anymore. Taken away by Jazzy and Jackson and a reach-in foul here on Haley Swayze. That is her first and the team's second. Rice on the floor right now. Fisher, Jackson, Swayze, Bukinevich, and Austin. For North Texas, it's Noble, Jackson, Mallard, Gomez, and Townley. Great to have you with us today on the Varsity Sports app. City Network app, and we are also on YouTube today. North Texas ball in the visiting black uniforms. Quincy Noble has it left elbow. Sees it right back from Townley. Now drives left. High off the glass. Can't roll it in. Rebound Maya Bukinevich of the Rice Owls. Rice has not led so far today. Made a couple of threes. That's been it. They have a chance to take the lead, though, on this possession. Fisher on high to the free throw line. Looked like a travel. And it was. North Texas basketball with 4.02 to go. One other game going on today. Old Dominion just tipped off. They are at UAB. Old Dominion with a four point lead early. Here we're tied at six. 3.50 and counting to go in the first. 
Jazzy and Jackson on high for North Texas. Fade away jumper right elbow. High off the heel. And the rebound to Maya Bukinevich of Rice. The Owls are in the home whites. Dark blue names and numerals stitched in black. Destiny Jackson, Ashley Austin down low. Beautiful pass, finding Fisher who lays it in. And a great assist to Austin. And for the first time today, Rice has the advantage. They are up two, eight to six. 3.20 and ticking to go. Quarter number one from Tudor Fieldhouse. Gomez, Townley left wing. Back to Gomez, right elbow extended. Thought about pulling up from there. Instead, finds a wide open cutting Jackson. And Jazzy and Jackson scores two. Her first two today. And we are tied again, this time at eight. Three minutes and counting to go. Quarter number one. Haley Swayze, left wing extended, backing up towards the Royal Blue R at center. Fisher tried to find a streaking and cutting in Austin, but overshot her. It's North Texas basketball on the Mean Green. will make a sub. Amber Dixon is in for the first time this afternoon. She's a 5'10 graduate student from Arlington, Texas. Transfer from Louisiana Tech. Coming in for Jazzy and Jackson. 2.50 and counting to go. Quarter number one. We are knotted up at eight. North Texas ball on the right wing. It's Dixon. Feeding down low, Townley. We'll go left side to Noble. Quincy inside the CUSA logo at the free throw line. Just rolled it out. Rebound to the Owls. Jackson crossing the center with 2.25 to go. Tied at eight, quarter number one. Fisher with a pump fake, left wing. Now left block, jumper off the glass and in. Malia Fisher. What a week for her. Her second Freshman of the Week award was acquired last week. And the Owls back to a two-point lead, 10 to eight. Approaching two minutes to go, first quarter. Townley for the tie, left elbow, made it. Maddie Townley recently surpassed number one all-time Amber Jackson for rebounding at North Texas. And she is the leader now in all-time games played at North Texas. This is her 125th game. She broke the record on Thursday night against the Mean Green. Another kick ball on Townley. Turn it into a football game, European kind anyway. Clock stops with a minute 46. Sub for the Mean Green, Jazzy and Jackson's back in, replacing Maddie Townley. Ball will be retained by the Elves. And Ashley Austin will inbound to Jackson who gives it right back to Ashley. Left elbow, thought about a shot, pulled away though at the last second. Here come the Mean Green and the visiting black uniforms. Ali Gomez, right elbow, now driving the lane and lays it in with a beautiful finger roll. Ali Gomez with two more. And the Mean Green are back up by two at 12-10 with a minute 25 and counting until we hit the end of quarter number one from Tudor Fieldhouse. Maya Bukanevich in the right wing. Feeding in the near corner, here's a three attempt. Haley Swayze hit the side of the backboard. Ball picked up by North Texas's Jazzy and Jackson. Sprinting the charge, here come the Mean Green from right to left. It's Dixon driving and fouled. Amber Dixon to the line for free throws to the Mean Green with a minute eight to go. Fouls on Malia Fisher, that's her first. And Rice's third team foul. Mean Green make a change. Demisha Lampkins in for the first time this afternoon. 6'2 sophomore from Mansfield. Played her high school ball at Summit High School. That is in Mansfield, by the way. Dixon to the line. 36 of 49 this season. And on her 50th attempt, she makes it. Or Texas lead is three. Now trying for four. And the lead is four now. Mean Green up 14-10 on Rice. Approaching the final minute of the first quarter here at Tudor Fieldhouse. Bit of a press administered by the Mean Green, and it works to their advantage as the ball is thrown away underneath the right basket. Amber Dixon read it. Now she takes it to the front court. Inside the CUSA logo at the free throw line, but traveled. Ball back to the Owls. Rice shooting 50% from the field. North Texas at 46% so far. Rice has hit two of the five threes they've attempted. North Texas has tried two threes, but neither have gone in. Mean Green up four, 14-10, down to 40 seconds to go, first quarter here in Houston. Jason Metko with you today. An honor and a privilege to be covering both of these schools. 
Bukinevich, right block extended into Swayze. Fadeaway jumper inside the free throw line. That rolled off the back iron, and the rebound pulled in by North Texas. Shot clock is switched off. Mean Green can play for the final shot if they so choose to. Jackson, left wing dump off for Amber Dixon. Now to Ali Gomez, who will direct traffic with her left hand rather vociferously. Lampkin, left wing. Here's Jackson with it with five seconds. Middle of the key, jumper underneath, and there's two for the Mean Green, Tamisha Lampkin. And that is the end of quarter number one. Not nearly enough time for Destiny Jackson to try to release a shot. We're done with one, and North Texas with a 16-10 lead on Rice. Back after this, this is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and today on YouTube. Quarter number two about to commence from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston, North Texas with a 16-10 lead on Rice. Jason Metko with you here today, the Varsity Network app, and we are also on YouTube. We start the second quarter. It is Rice basketball. Five on the floor for them. Fisher, Jackson, Swayze, Bellamy, and Bukinevich. Rice in the home whites this afternoon. This was originally scheduled to be a game on New Year's Day. But the variant had something to say about that at the time. Destiny Jackson misses a lane and pulls in the board herself. Another opportunity for the Owls here. Looking to unseat North Texas after losing the other night in Denton. Jackson drives and is fouled on the way to the basket. And we'll have free throws for the Owls here with 9.33 to go to the half. Fouls on Jackson, Jazzy and Jackson. Kendall Magruder in for the Mean Green for the first time today. A 5'9 freshman from Grand Prairie. Had a pretty good horse racing track in Grand Prairie. Destiny Jackson, two shots. Southpaw misses the first. Lone Star Park. Second on the way now. And miss that. Rebound pulled in by the Mean Green. They're up six. 16-10. Ball out of bounds and baseline right and will remain with the Mean Green. Now we'll see the Owls back up defensively here just a little bit. Give North Texas some room to bring it across the timeline. 9-20 and counting to the break. Mean Green up six, looking for more. Now it's eight, courtesy of a lay-in by Amber Dixon from the left block. North Texas. Starting this quarter pretty salty. See how the Owls can respond with Destiny Jackson into the front court. McGruder's guarding her pretty tightly though. And now a whistle and might have had a reach in or a bump here on McGruder. It is. Sub for Rice. Ashley Austin is back in for India Bellamy. Foul was on the floor. It's North Texas' the second team foul of the quarter. Inbound to Rice, moving left to right. Down eight now at 
Swayze looking for help, finds Jackson, left elbow, swing it near corner, Fisher thought about the three, takes it baseline, jumper from eight feet is an air ball. Way too much on that. Here comes Jazzy and Jackson the other way for the Mean Green. Cladded in the black uniforms today. Five for them on the floor. Magruder, Jackson, Dixon, Gomez, and Lampkin. Dixon with the basketball now, takes it to the right block and puts two in past Swayze. And the North Texas lead has increased to 10. It is 20 to 10, North Texas. 8, 20 and counting remaining to be played in this opening half. Jason Metko with you live from Tudor Fieldhouse on this Sunday. Bukinevich near corner three, another air ball. Things just not finding the cylinder right now for the Owls, their last two possessions. However, it will stay Rice ball as it touched a mean green player before it went out on the baseline right. Throw it into Austin, now to Jackson left wing. Destiny on high, right side Haley Swayze. Shot clock under 10 now. Swayze looking for some relief and finds it in Jackson. Jackson crossover dribble at the top of the key. Has a bit of a scuttlebutt. Some pile finds Austin. Austin drove, but the shot clock expired. And that is a turnover, and it is North Texas basketball. A sub first for the Owls before the inbound. Trinity Gooden is back in. In for Destiny Jackson. 7.55 and ticking to go until the end of the half. North Texas sporting a 10-point lead here in Houston. 20 to 10 is the score. Driving left is Jackson and cannot lay it in. It caught the rim twice. Rebound Rice, Fisher on ahead and almost overthrew Haley Swayze. Swayze will leave it now for Trinity Gooden who looks back at her head coach, Lindsey Edmonds, to receive the play. And now we have a whistle and a foul away from the ball. This is an offensive foul called on Rice. It's on Malia Fisher. That is her second sub for Rice. India Bellamy is back in as Fisher sits with the two fouls. Seven and a half to go. Half one. And North Texas with a 10 point lead. Looking to go to 12 and 10 overall if they are victorious here today. More importantly for them, six and six in conference play. Three missed by Magruder from the far wing. Rebound Rice. The Owls this season are seven and 10. Two and seven in conference play. We got a foul on the floor in the front court. And this is on Kendall Magruder. That is her second. And North Texas has acquired three fouls in the quarter. It's Rice basketball. Swayze, Bellamy, Bukinevich, Austin, and Gooden. The five on the floor in white. Trinity Gooden right wing, down low, finding in the Bellamy. Ball's coughed up, picked up by North Texas. Demisha Lampkin. And the lob it on ahead to Noble. Settle it down to Jackson. Now back on top to Dixon. Pulls up for three. Bounced it out. Rebound underneath aggressively pulled in by Lampkin. But the Owls have it the other way now. Swayze. Slow it down and take it to the right wing. And another kick ball. Had a few of those here in the first half. This time off of Quincy Noble. Ball stays with the Owls. Shot clock at 23 seconds. 6.34 to go until the half ends. North Texas with a 10-point lead here on the Owls. Bukinevich underneath the right basket. Goes up for a shot and can't roll it in. Out of bounds, baseline right. It touched an Owl. It's Mean Green basketball. Mean Green shooting a little bit better in this quarter now. For the game, they're up to 47% from the field. Bryce is now 31%. Four of 13 Couple of threes, allowing Rice to be in this game down by 10 at present. Nice passing, middle of the key, an eight footer, Amber Dixon scores, and Rice calls time. With 6.10 to go until the half ends, it is a 12 point lead for the visitors from Denton, 22 to 10. And we will take a quick break here. Yes, we will. 6-10 to go. 22-10, North Texas leading Rice. Back after this. This is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield. Rockets fans, the NBA is back. And AT&T is your home for everything Rockets. Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sportsnet and Saturday on social media for exclusive.
exclusive content. Hear from Kaylee Griffin and Matt Fuller for insight on what's going on around the team, plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. With the Rockets back on the court, turn to AT&T Sportsnet from pregame to postgame. Watch every game only on AT&T Sportsnet. The lights, the sounds, the cameras, the electricity. If you can feel it, hear it, see it, chances are an IBEW electrician built it. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University and Houston great, and we want you to join us. Excellent training, fantastic benefits in retirement, and zero student loan debt. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. AT&T Sportsnet is your home of the Houston Astros. Visit at and Sportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch the Astros all season long. From pre-game to post-game, watch every game. Only on AT&T Sportsnet. Timeout by Rice, which also became a timeout on the floor. 6-10 to go till the end of the half. North Texas with a 22-10 lead on the Rice Owls. Jason Metko with you from Tudor Fieldhouse. Great to have you with us today. Special shout out to those of you tuning in via YouTube today. Love me some YouTube. Rice basketball after the timeout. They are down 12. North Texas on a bit of a run here midway through the second quarter. Shot clock's under 10. Trinity Gooden at the top of the key for the Owls. Driving to the right block, went up for a shot, was rejected. Amber Dixon swatting that out of the sky. That fires up the Mean Green bench. And the Mean Green bench says it should be our basketball to boot. It is North Texas basketball. No real argument from the Rice coaching staff or bench. North Texas with a big stop there after the timeout, and they have a 12-point lead now. 5.35 and counting to go until intermission. Coming up at half, we'll have the out-of-town scoreboard. We'll go through the Conference USA standings as well. A few games going on today. Must have already wrapped up, though. Tamisha Lampkin misses the lay-in down low. Here comes Trinity Good in the other way for Rice. Lost the basketball, a touch to Mean Green player. It will stay with the Elves. Jaden Mallard back in for the Mean Green. And for Rice, Destiny Jackson returns. Denisha Lampkin checks out for North Texas, and Maya Bukanevich will earn a break for the Owls. Inbound play, right baseline, far side. Ashley Austin throwing it in for Rice. Gives it to Bellamy. Actually, that's Trinity Gooden who inbounded it. 32, not 22. Gooden missed the shot from the left block. The rebound picked up by the Mean Green. North Texas in the visiting black uniforms today. Green names and numerals, far corner two. That's good for Quincy Noble. Feet were on the line, so it's a two, not a three. The lead, though, is now 14 for North Texas at 24 to 10. 455 and counting to be played in quarter number two here from Tudor Fieldhouse. And the Mean Green are starting to soar away in the competition here today. Trinity Gooden between the circles now backs up towards the center court line. Shot clock is down to 10. Left hand dribble to the left wing. Ashley Austin has it now on top with five. Austin penetrating right side. Went up, stuffed again, a jump ball. Boy, this mean green defense has come to play today. Jump ball, alternating possession to the mean green. Maddie Townley there. 14 point lead, looking for more. No and one for Noble, but she's going to the line for a pair. Trinity Gooden hit with her first foul. Quincy Noble to the line. 5'10 redshirt senior from McKinney, Texas. 54 of 67 line this year. 14.6 points a game, made the first. That's good for seventh in Conference USA. 80% as a free throw shooter, as we just said, roughly. Made both there. Has reached double figures in all but four games this season as Quincy Noble. Quincy now has six after making both free throws. There's a 2-2-1 press by the main green, but Rice able to bring it across. They're down 16. 26-10, 4-10 and counting to go until the end of the half. 
India Bellamy into Ashley Austin, left block. Fade away jump, couldn't have it roll in. Ball picked up by Amber Dixon to the main green. Rainbow pass on ahead to Jazzy and Jackson. Jazzy and down the middle of the key, high off the glass, couldn't roll it in. Rebound, Noble, Quincy Noble right there, two more. The main green lead is 18. 28-10, 3.47 and counting to go till intermission. Rice with a couple of subs ready to come in off the next dead ball here. Al's looking for some momentum. Right now it is not in a wide supply. Jackson feeding it down low. Bellamy broke the defense and scores two wide open. India Bellamy converting. And for India, that's her first two points today. That stops the run. It's 28-12. North Texas leading Rice. North Texas basketball still remains that way as it went off uh, Rice hand to our left. The subs are in for Rice. They are Malia Fisher and Maya Bakanevich. In for Trinity Gooden and Ashley Austin. Shot clock at 19 seconds. Inbound play, Jackson. Right side, Quincy Noble. And to Maddie Townley. Bounce pass underneath, jumper two, good for Jaden Mallard. Mean Green are rolling, 30 to 12. 255 and counting to go till the end of the half. North Texas was picked to finish third in Conference USA. Kick ball again, boy how many of those have we had? Half dozen? Something you don't say a lot in a broadcast, to kick ball. Well you do in other sports, just not this one. By the way, that third um, preseason pick for North Texas, that is the highest uh, preseason pick in the Jalen Mitchell era, uh, era. As going to the line here is going to be Malia Fisher as North Texas's Amber Dixon is hit with a foul. That is North Texas's fourth. A sub for the mean green. Emma Vislas Gomez is in. She's from France. First free throw from Malia Fisher is good. We mentioned Fisher, her second Conference USA Freshman of the Week award this season. 20 points on 50% shooting at UTEP. That was a 72-69 win back on February 5th for the Owls. 30-14. to North Texas basketball. In the visiting blacks, down to 2.35 to go. Dixon free throw line, fadeaway jumper, not enough on it. Caught the rim twice. Fisher the rebound and a foul on the mean green. That's team foul five. Free throws now for the Owls. It's on Vilas Gomez. That's Emma's first. And Malia Fisher will head right back to the free throw line. Malia with nine points. Two a two from the line. Broadcaster's jinx. Now two a three. Actually three a four. There we go. Stats just updated. <laughs> we rely on them so much. I'm glad they're here. Thank you. Second free throw. No dice. Rebound North Texas. 30-14. Mean Green rolling with 2.20 to go to the half ends. Dixon, free throw line, inside the free throw line, far corner, Noble, Quincy for three and made it. Quincy Noble with a three here for the Mean Green. It is 33-14, North Texas. Two minutes remaining in the half. Bellamy for the Owls, puts it in from the left block. Nice pass from Haley Swayze. 33-16, North Texas. Minute 50 and counting to go till intermission. Townley, wide open, left wing, corner now, it's Dixon, couldn't bounce in the three. Maya Bukinevich picks it up for Rice. The Owls trailing significantly here, but still plenty of basketball left. Nice pass to Bellamy again from Swayze, and two more. Let's keep that combination working if you're the Owls right now. 33-18, visitors from Denton with the lead, a minute 20 to go in the half. Again, wide open in the near corners, Amber Dixon. Townley, free throw line, jumper off the front part of the rim. 
Back on top, off the miss, a three on the way, and that was missed from Jackson. The ball picked up by the Rice Owls. Down the final minute, the opening half, and a carry call on the left wing. Destiny Jackson, and the ball goes back to North Texas. Ashley Austin is back in for Rice, and Tamisha Lampkin returns for the Mean Green. And maybe one more sub for the Mean Green while we're at it, sure. Ali Gomez returns. In for Amber Dixon. 62 seconds left in the half. North Texas 33 and Rice 18. Jason Metko with you today on this Super Sunday from Houston. Jackson inside the arc left on top Townley. Feet in at middle of the key, Lampkin. Try to go against Austin. Kick it back, right wing three, Noble. Quincy in and out. The rebound is Maya Buckinavages. And here comes Rice in the home whites from left to right. Maya stops, left wing, thought about a three, then pulled it back. Down to 30 seconds to go in the half. There's about a 10 second differential between the game and shot clocks. Jackson almost lost it to Jackson. Jackson on Jackson right now. Destiny, a floater from the right elbow and put it in. Destiny Jackson with two more for the Owls. That's her first two today. 33-20, North Texas leads. Down to seven seconds remaining in the opening half. Jazzy and Jackson, left side, Gomez releases a three, not enough on another horn. And that is the way the first half ends. North Texas, a 13 point lead at intermission, 33 to 20. Come back with halftime news and notes for you right after this. It's Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and YouTube. Sportsnet is your home of the Houston Rockets. Visit ATNTSportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch the Rockets all season long. From pregame to postgame, watch every game only on ATNT Sportsnet. We have reached intermission here at Tudor Fieldhouse, campus of Rice University in Houston, Texas. The North Texas Mean Green leading your Rice Owls in women's hoops today, 33-20. Jason Metko with you here today. It's Rice Owls women's basketball from Learfield. We're also on YouTube today. 
Great to have you tune in wherever you might be participating and tuning into the broadcast today. Mean Green up by 13 at half, 33 to 20. First half numbers look like this. Shooting from the field, North Texas 45 to Rice's 38%. From downtown, North Texas is one of eight. Rice is two of six. Free throws, Mean Green have made all four of their attempts. Rice is two of six. Rebounds, those are dead even at 16. Second chance points, North Texas two and Bryce none. Points in the paint, double here for North Texas, 24 to 12. And they also have four fast break points and Rice does not have any at the present time. We have had two lead changes. We've been tied three times and North Texas has led for all but 38 seconds so far of the first half. North Texas 33 and Rice 20. First half individual numbers. We'll start with North Texas. Quincy Noble leading all scores. She has 11 points. Amber Dixon has 10 points for the Mean Green. Then we've got a smattering of fours. Ali Gomez along with Jaden Mallard. And then two points each for Jazzy and Jackson, Tamisha Lampkin, and Maddie Townley for your total of 33. Turnovers, by the way, for the Mean Green in the first half, they had four. For the Owls, their leading scorer is Malia Fisher, who has nine points. India Bellamy off the bench has six. Three points for Ashley Austin, and Destiny Jackson has two points. Turnovers in the first half, Rice had a total of 11. North Texas won the first quarter, 16 to 10. They won the second quarter, 17 to 10. And they lead at half by 13, 33, 20. Timeout, come back. We'll go through the out of town scoreboard and also mention the Conference USA standings. And intermission, it is North Texas 33 and Rice 20. Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and YouTube continues after this. Primary care doctors are available to provide personalized care for you and your family safely. We offer a variety of convenient ways to get care for this, from same day sick visits to extended hours at select locations. And we are taking every precaution to keep you safe during your visit. Choose your doctor or schedule online at HoustonMethodist.org slash stay healthy. We interrupt your Top 40 hits to issue this alert from the Carabach Brewing Company. In our efforts to brew our distinct and popular Hoppadillo IPA, we have unwittingly created a monster. A monster with an insatiable thirst. A monster that will not stop until it gets what it wants. An ice-cold Hoppadillo IPA. Just like the one I'm building in my hand. Cold, flavorful, dry, smooth, irresistible. Rockets fans, the NBA returns on December 22nd, and AT&T is your home for everything Rockets. Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sports Night SW on social media for exclusive content. Hear from Kaylee Griffin and Matt Bowen for insight on what's going on on the team, plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. The NBA season is right around the corner. Turn to AT&T Sports Night from pre-game to post-game. Watch every game only on AT&T Sports Night.
North Texas women's basketball team, a 13-point advantage on Rice. Halftime at Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston. Jason Metka with you on this Sunday. Let's look at the Conference USA standings coming into today's play. We will start in the Western Division, which has both of these schools. UAB presently at 6-4 and four and 13-8. And Southern Miss, 7-5, 15-8. Louisiana Tech is 6-6 six and 14-9. Six and and then it's the Mean Green at 5-6 and 11-10. And and UTEP is 5-8 and 13-10. And and Rice, 2-7, and 7-10. Seven, seven and UTSA, 2-9, and 5-17. And the Eastern Division looks like this coming into today. Charlotte, the 49ers are at 9-2, and 13-8. And Middle Tennessee, 9-3, and 17-5. And Western Kentucky, 9-3, and 16-7. And Old Dominion, 8-3, and 18-5. And Marshall, the Thundering Herd, are 7-6, and 12-10. And FIU is also 12-10 overall, but Florida International is 4-7 in conference play. Florida Atlantic bringing up the end in the East. They are 1-11 in conference play, 5-18 overall mentioned a few games going on on this sunday today one presently going on or are there still two going on let's see here when we refresh the page well there's still a handful actually going on the two that have gone final middle tennessee has defeated charlotte today in charlotte by a point 46 45. the other one marshall defeating utep out in west virginia final score of 60 to 48. At last check, UAB was two better than Old Dominion. That game being played in Birmingham, 33-31. And Western Kentucky is about to close the door on UTSA. The Hilltoppers up by nine, 79-70, with about a minute to go in that one. So that's the out-of-town scoreboard for you. It's also a look of the standings in Conference USA. Reminder, the Conference USA women's and men's basketball tournament going to be back at the star in frisco texas and the dates are march 8th through the 12th take another time out and when we return we will prepare for the start of the second half between north texas and rice it is north texas 33 and rice 20. this is rice university women's basketball from learfield
Just about ready to start the second half. Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston, Texas. Rice women's basketball from Learfield. We are also on YouTube today. I am Jason Metko. Glad to have you with us. North Texas sporting a 13 point lead, 33-20 over Rice. Both these teams will be in action again on the 17th of February. That is this coming Thursday. The Mean Green will be hosting Florida Atlantic at the fabulous Super Pit in Denton. That is scheduled for a 6.30 tip. Meanwhile, the Owls will be hosting UAB at seven. And Matt Peterson will be with you for that one here in the Houston area. A couple birthday shout outs before we start this second half. Tomorrow is the voice of your Owls' birthday, the great JP Heath. Happy birthday to you, sir. We love you, we appreciate you. Owls Nation has a special place in their heart for you. For North Texas, a pretty big birthday today. Bill Mercer, who was one of the voices of the Mean Green back in the day, but also had quite the swim as the voice of the Dallas Cowboys. He was the first voice of the Texas Rangers baseball team when they moved from Washington. He was also back in the day known for world championship wrestling. And he also taught a few of us sportscasters in this industry. Bill Mercer is 96 today. Happy birthday to Mr. William Mercer. Second half about to start here from Tudor. 33-20, the Owls trailing the Mean Green. It is Rice basketball. They're in the home whites, gray stitching, dark blue names and numerals. North Texas in the visiting blacks. Black stitching, dark green names and numerals. Here we go with the second half. Five on the floor for the Owls. Fisher, Jackson, Bakanevich, Austin, and Gooden. And right off the bat, a three attempt missed from Gooden. Fisher tries for the shot underneath, can't put it down. Ball trickles to the near corner and Madison Townley has it for North Texas. For the main green, it's Noble, Jackson, Mallard, Gomez, and Townley. The five on the floor for them. Gomez will set things up at the top of the key. North Texas moving left to right in this second half. Comfortably ahead for now by 13 points, looking to sweep the season series. They won by two possessions the other night up in Denton. Shot clock's down to five. Floater of a shot from the right block goes in for Jalen Mallard. Mallard with six points, and the lead is 15 now for the Mean Green. Rice with a bit of an issue, trying to bring it across the timeline. They're able to do it though successfully. Maya Bukinevich wide open in the left wing, releases a three, it caught the rim in the backboard. The rebound pulled in by Ashley Austin. She went up and is fouled with 8.57 to go in the third. Foul is on Ali Gomez. And for Ali, that is her first. Ashley Austin to the line. Two shots upcoming for her, first trip to the line today and bounced in hard and then out the first. This will be Ashley's 105th free throw attempt and she converts on it. She has made 77 this season. The lead is down to 14. North Texas ball, they have the advantage, 8.50 to go in the third. Kazzy and Jackson left wing, work at near corner, Quincy Noble. Slingshot pass, left elbow finding Gomez. Now they'll work it back to the right wing. Quincy for a long two off the back iron. Maya Bukinavich saves it, but it went off Destiny Jackson and out of bounds. And this should be North Texas basketball. Well, Trinity Gooden is going to inbound it. So it will go to the Owls. Shows what I know. Destiny Jackson in the backcourt here with Trinity Gooden as Mean Green bring another press. Bukinevich into the front court. Maya will hand off to Jackson and leave it for Trinity Gooden. 8.20 and counting to go, period three. Visitors from Denton up 14. On the girls from Houston, it is 35-21. Fisher, free throw line, fadeaway jumper, rolled it out. Defensive rebound, North Texas. Mean Green left to right. Gomez, near corner, Townley. Couple left hand dribbles to the top of the key. Now settles it down and leaves it for Jackson. Jackson on Jackson. Not wearing the same number though. Destiny wears number five in wide for Rice. Townley, right side, Gomez. Shot clock's down to six. Alley drives, shorted it. 
Rebound pulled in, Trinity Gooden. 7.37 and counting. Quarter number three, Bekanevich left wing. Back on top, Malia Fisher pulls up for three awkwardly, hit the side of the rim. Uncontested rebound, Quincy Noble of the Mean Green. North Texas has led, but all for about 30 seconds of this game. There's a bit of a run by Rice, middle part of the first quarter, but that's been it. Top of the key three, that's high off the rim there for Mallard. Rebound comes to the near side and going down hard is Ashley uh, Trinity Gooden. And she is able to be helped up by her teammates. Destiny Jackson, one of them, and Trinity has her right hand holding her left rib. And now as play resumes, she quickly cycles back into focusing on the game. Give and go pass though, down low, and two more for the Mean Green. That's Jalen Mallard converting. And North Texas's lead now is 16 at 37 to 21. Here's a three from Bukinevich that caught the front part of the rim. Rebound North Texas. Ali Gomez trying to go coast to coast. Stripped away from Destiny Jackson at the last second. Keep our eye on Trinity Gooden and see how she's doing. Seems to be all right as for now. Maybe playing on adrenaline. Inbound Gomez went up and fouled. And Lindsay Edmonds is furious. Standing at the middle of the scorer's table. Our three officials today, Kelly Johnson, Neoa Williams, and Jody Cantrell. Kelly Johnson coming over and having a couple of more closer words with Lindsay Edmonds. The foul was called on Ashley Austin. That is her second. And her opposite number, Gomez, misses the first free throw. 37-21 North Texas. Second from Gomez. Made it. One of two. 38-21 Mean Green. 6.37 and counting to go until the end of the third. Again, the Mean Green bring the heat. The Jackson brings it across. Bukinevich, left wing three. Front part of the rim. The threes are not dropping today for the Owls. They made a couple in the first quarter, but that seems to have been all as far as the offensive momentum that they carry. Noble, Townley working the perimeter. Jazzy and Jackson, right wing, near corner, Gomez. Still stuck in the near corner as Jackson comes to Garner. Drives baseline, does Gomez. Left side dump off, Noble, three, made it. Quincy Noble with a three. She's two of four in that department today. And the Maine Greens lead now is 20. 41-21, under six to play, quarter number three. And a stolen basketball, Jackson was pickpocketed by Jackson, and then Jackson took it right back. Destiny lost it to Jazzian, Jazzian lost it to Destiny. It is Rice basketball, they're down 20. Gooden, seeming to be all right, drives the lane, or the baseline anyway, and is fouled. This might be on Quincy Noble. It is. That is her first. Haley Swayze's back in for Trinity Gooden. Keep an eye on her left rib. She had her right hand on it earlier. But right now, leaning forward and talking with her teammates and intently focused on the game. Off the inbound to reach in foul. Looked like a huge carry, but there was a foul before that happened. And it's on Quincy Noble, and she's racked up two fouls in two seconds. North Texas's third team foul of the quarter. Inbound Bukinevich to Fisher inside the arc on high. Now we'll back up and leave it for Maya. Handing off Destiny Jackson. Shot clock at 10. Here's Fisher, top of the key, swings it for Austin, went off two players out of bounds. And it remains North Texas? No, it remains Rice Ball, yes. Shot clock's down to four. So if you're the Owls, you got a motor here. Jackson into Austin. And shot clock ran out. Tough one for the Owls here. Needing to refocus after seeing the mean green slowly pull away it was a 13 point lead coming into the break and now the lead is 20. 
41-21 North Texas. Five minutes to go. Quarter number three from Tudor Fieldhouse. Jackson far corner three release. That's good for Gomez. And Allie has her first three today. And the Mean Green lead is now up to 13. That is the largest of the game. This is a 9-0 North Texas run over the last two minutes. Lay and miss from Destiny Jackson, rebound North Texas. Mean Green in the black from left to right. Jumper, left elbow, rolling in Quincy Noble. And Lindsey Edmonds has seen enough. Timeout Rice, 431 remains to be played. Quarter number three, it is all North Texas. 46-21 on the Rice Owls. Back after this, it's Rice University women's basketball from Learfield. Timeout called by Rice, coinciding with a timeout on the floor. 4.31 to go in the third. It is all North Texas. 46-21 on the Owls. Jason Metko with the court side here at Tudor Fieldhouse. Also on YouTube today. Howdy to those of you joining us via that medium. North Texas is a team shooting 49% from the field. Normally, it's 41%. Well, that's been the average so far this season. Rice at 28%. And for them, that's well below their average of 40% a game. Middle of the key foul as Ashley Austin was hit. And the Mean Green are racking up fouls here in the third quarter. We've got, uh, let's see here, third team foul on Mallard. And now we'll have another timeout on the floor. That's right. Okay, glad we've got that figured out. 46-21, North Texas leads back right after this. It's Rice University women's basketball from Learfield. With Houston Methodist virtual urgent care, please skip the drive and the waiting room and connect to our board-certified providers from your computer, tablet, or mobile phone. Virtual urgent care visits are available 24-7. No appointment needed, even on weekends and holidays. Same-day sick visits to extended hours and select locations. And we are taking every precaution to you safe during your visit. Choose your doctor or schedule on at HoustonMethodist.org slash stay Off the rice inbound, Maya Bukadevich has it lost to Ali Gamez, but Gamez cannot lay it in the other way. 
Rice basketball down 46-21, under four minutes to play in the third. Right wing three, Haley Swayze. That looked like it was going to go in, but did not fully flush. It is North Texas ball in the visiting black uniforms. They won on a 20-0 run in the late stages of the first into the second quarter to the Mean Green. And they are all over it today here in Houston. Gomez lost it in front of her bench, but it went off a Rice player, and so the ball stays with the Mean Green. Shot clock at 12 seconds. Quincy Noble, by the way, 16 points now. Double figures for her for the 18th time this year. It's pretty good. 18 out of 21 games? Yes. Free throw line jumper. That's good for Maddie Townley. And North Texas extends the lead even more. And it has got deathly quiet in here. 48-21. North Texas leads Rice. Austin finishing on the assist from Fisher. 48-23. Three minutes to go now in quarter number three on this Sunday. Next dead ball will touch on the out-of-town scoreboard as well. Maya Bukanevich, here comes Rice off the turnover. Swayze taking it baseline, off the glass and in two for Haley Swayze. Those are Haley's first two today. She averages 10 and a half a game. 48-25, all mean green. Gomez thought about a three for the corner. Now double team finds Townley left elbow. Maddie jumper, free throw line inside, too much. Defensive rebound, Haley Swayze of Rice. Here come the Owls and the home whites. Destiny Jackson, right wing, Maya Bakanevich. Crossover dribble on the right wing, going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Gomez. Swing it back to the left side, Jackson. Now to Swayze. Haley driving baseline trap, back to Jackson, left wing, working on top for Fisher. Fisher, the right block, and a drive, foul. Malia the line for two, with 2.10 to go in the third. Foul is called on Maddie Townley, her first, and North Texas' fifth team foul. Amber Dixon back in for the mean green for Jazzy and Jackson. Malia Fisher, two shots, nine points today, two of four from the line. Now 10 points and three of five. Second on the way. And that rolled out, 48-26. North Texas with the lead. We're down to the final two minutes to go in the third quarter here from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston. Gomez left wing with the basketball. Now on top, finding Amber Dixon. Dixon to the right block, and can't float it in. Offensive rebound, though. Lampkin, no dice. Ball's on the floor, and finally corralled by Destiny Jackson of Rice. Jackson sprinting on ahead to Swayze left wing on a chest pass. Swayze fade away from the left elbow inside, off the heel. Rebound North Texas. Mean Green up a healthy dose here, 22 points. 48-26, under 90 seconds to go in the third. Gomez to Townley, left wing. Leaving it now for Lampkin. Tanisha looking for options. We'll dribble slightly to the right side. Now we'll work it to the left wing. It's Townley again. Maddie to the free throw line. Underhand laying on a wild shot. Caught the rim. Rebound picked up by the Owls. That was an underhand and then sort of what they used to call a granny shot. Maya Bukanevich, left wing, three connects. There's Maya's first tray today. The Owls have struggled from beyond the arc here. Only made three. Timeout taken by North Texas. 47.7 to go. Mean Green up 48-29. Well, we got a moment. Let's touch on the out-of-town scoreboard. I think the Western Kentucky game has gone final now. It has. Western Kentucky 11 better today than UTSA 81-70. Middle Tennessee defeated Charlotte by one. It was a little closer. 46-45. Marshall 60 and UTEP 48. The Thundering Herd winning at home. And the only other game going on right now in Conference USA, Old Dominion is two better than UAB. Check that. This thing cycles in real time. Gotta love it. 
Old Dominion and UAB are tied at 50. With about three and a half to go in the third from Birmingham. Timeout North Texas is over. It is North Texas basketball. 45 seconds remaining to be played in the third quarter. Noble, Dixon, Gomez, Lampkin, and Townley, the five, in the black uniforms at present. Townley on high, feeding middle of the key, down low, Lampkin, and Tamisha went down a little awkwardly there. Some of the members of the mob, which is the band here, at Rice, said travel. But instead, it is the second foul on Trinity Gooden and the second team foul in the corner on the Owls. By the way, Trinity Gooden seems to be all right after going down hard earlier in this quarter and holding her left rib, or the area below that left rib. Demisha Lampkin makes the first free throw. Second, caught the heel, rebound pulled in by Fisher. About, oh, a two-tenths of a second differential between the game and shot clocks? Yeah, that's a fair assessment. Well, actually, the game clock is ahead of the shot clock, so the sw shot clock should be switched off, but it is not at present. We might get a double buzzer. Those are always fun. Jumper right block. Fisher puts two in. Three seconds, two, and one. Gomez sees the time, releases, and it's short. And that is the end of the third. North Texas expanding upon their lead. It was 13 at intermission. It is now 18 going to the fourth. 49-31. North Texas leading Rice. Rice University women's basketball from Learfield and YouTube returns after this timeout. Bravely brewed in Texas by the Club of Europe. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University used to great, and we want you to join us. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. Rockets fans, the NBA returns on December 22nd, and AT&T is your home for everything Rockets. Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sports and SW on social media for exclusive content. Hear from Kaylee Griffin and Matt Ballard for insight on what's going on around the team, plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. The NBA season is right around the corner. Turn to ATT Sportsnet from pregame to postgame. Watch every game only on ATT Sportsnet. Have no postgame plans? You do now. Head down the street to Little Woodrow's and Rice Village and relax over indoor and outdoor games, sports, and drink specials that a college student cannot refuse. All you have to do is bring your student ID to enjoy $2.50 domestic drafts. Also, don't miss out on a Monday college game where we've got two dollars domestic drafts and three dollar shots. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated on all our upcoming events and specials. Little Woodrow's, the official Rice House Wednesday event. Fourth quarter about to commence. Tudor Fieldhouse, Houston, Texas. Jason Metko with you today. The Varsity Network app powered by Learfield. And we're also on YouTube today. So that makes me a YouTube star now, I guess. Hashtag life goals. North Texas rolling 49-31 on the Rice Owls. So we start the final 10 minutes of regulation. Maddie Townley at the free throw line with the basketball. Giving it to Mallard. Pivot move, right block, and goes up for the shot. Not enough on it. Her own rebound missed it. Ball on the floor. A scrum for it, and now a kick ball. Apparently, Mallard kicked that with her left foot while she was face down. Looked like a clean pickup by Jackson, but it will go to Rice here. And now we'll need the broom to swipe up what needs to be swiped up. This will give us the opportunity to remind you that both of these teams play again on the 17th, both at home. The Mean Green will be welcoming Florida Atlantic to the fabulous Super Pit in Denton. That will be a 6.30 start. Radio coverage with the great Zach Babb from the Mean Green Radio Network powered by Learfield. Rice will be here hosting UAB, and that is a 7 o'clock tip 
and Matt Peterson will have that for you along the Owl Sports Network from Learfield. Jumper underneath, and India Bellamy, a little bit too strong off the left backboard. Rebound North Texas. At a 20 to nothing run, which extended from the end of the first half into the early stages of the second half, and really that has been the difference today. This game was closer as far as the score, well, not this particular game. When these two teams met back on Thursday, the game was a lot closer. Ball broken up in the middle of the key, and let's see here. It looks like Bellamy was fouled in the backcourt. Nope, ball went out of bounds. It went off of Bellamy, and it's North Texas basketball. Sub for the main green, Jazzy and Jackson returns. In for Quincy Noble. Now, are we resetting the shot clock here or not? We appear not to be. All right. Six on the shot clock, inbound to the backcourt. Gomez got to move here. Three seconds, two seconds, one, heave. Off the front part of the rim. Nobody went for the rebound except for Townley. And North Texas with another possession. 8.30 and counting to go, regulation. Meet Green rolling today, foul in the middle of the key. Gomez was hit. The shot clock went off, but the ball also hit the rim. It's not like you can turn the shot clock off as the ball's hitting the rim. Maya Bakanevich is find her second foul, and for Rice, that's the first foul of the quarter. Ming Green retained possession. Gomez, three right wing, caught the rim. Aggressive rebound, Destiny Jackson. Trinity good and on ahead. Right side, Maya Bakanevich pulls up for three, shorted it. Caught the rim, though. Rebound, Matty Townley of North Texas. Mean Green comfortably ahead. They will go to 12 and 10, 6 and 6 in Conference USA. So it will be a weekend sweep here, if you will. Post up left block and miss for Mallard. Jump ball now underneath as she got entangled with Bellamy. I say a weekend sweep because the North Texas men were here yesterday and defeated the Rice men. Haley Swayze is back in for Rice. So is Ashley Austin. India Bellamy and Maya Bukinevich check out. Rice's men. Yes, Rice's men losing on Saturday, yesterday to North Texas. And in the Grant McCaslin era, since he has been head coach at North Texas, they are 9-1 and one against Rice. Here it's 49-31, North Texas approaching seven and a half to go to the end of the contest. Shot clock is under 10 seconds. Fisher trying to find Austin. Gomez saved it and somehow found Maddie Townley. Sharp playing there. Mean Green basketball, 49-31. Gomez wide open underneath and there's two easy points for Jalen Mallard. And the lead is back to 20. Rice will fall to seven and 11 and two and eight in conference play. Swayze has it left wing to Fisher. Working on the right side now, India Bellamy, or rather that's Destiny Jackson. Gooden taking it, right block, high off the glass and only the glass out of bounds on the baseline left. And it is North Texas basketball. Mean Green Bowl, visiting Black. Five on the floor for them. Jackson, Dixon, Mallard, Gamez, and Townley. And a three-second violation called against the Mean Green. That's the first one of those today. North Texas men won here against Rice yesterday, 67-44. The Rice men are at UAB Thursday night at 7. J.P. Heath will have coverage of that for you on the Rice Al Sports Network, powered by Learfield. Houston Methodist pregame show starting 15 minutes before tip. Jumper right block, Trinity Gooden of Rice missed it out of bounds. At last touch to Ming Green player. And it will stay with the Owls. The lead is 20 for North Texas. 
Inbound Swayze, pull up three, made it. Haley Swayze connects. That is Swayze's first three today. And North Texas now leads 51-34, under six to play until we reach the end of this one. Townley, right side, Dixon, work it left, Gomez, now to Jackson, throw it away. <laughs> Maya Bukanevich returns. Seven on the shot clock. North Texas to inbound here. Inbound quickly and a jumper shot good for Matty Townley. Just outside the right part of the lane. 19 point lead, 5.30 to go, 53-34. The visitors from Denton all over this one here today. Austin, baseline jumper and missed it from the right block extended. Gomez the rebound for the Mean Green. Jason Metco with you here today. Thanks for tuning in this Super Sunday. Hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully there's a pretty good game tonight in Los Angeles. I'm worried about the halftime show though. I don't know if it's gonna hold up. Gomez makes two. And now the lead is Blackjack. 21, 55, 34. Under five to play now in regulation. Fade away jumper, that missed from Maya Bakanevich. Rebound picked up by Mallard of North Texas. See, it's Snoop, Mary J. Blige, and Eminem scheduled to be on stage at halftime tonight in California. That sounds like a winning trifecta to me. Jump. Jazzy and Jackson attacked by two players, and we have a timeout on the floor. Now the officials are conferring that it is a jump ball. If it is a jump ball, the alternating possession is North Texas's. And it will be a jump ball and North Texas basketball after this timeout on the floor. 4.32 remaining to be played. Regulation, it is North Texas 55 and Rice 34. This is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield. Time out on the floor, 432 left, regulation play. North Texas 55, Rice 34. Jason Metko with you live and in person from Tudor Fieldhouse in Houston. Jump ball before the timeout. The alternating possession awarded to the Mean Green, and they better move. They got three on the shot clock. Jumper three, Jackson short, far corner. The ball picked up by Destiny Jackson of the Rice Owls. 4-10 and counting. Mean Green going to soar back to the fabulous Super Pit in Denton with a win tonight. Bukanevich has it now. Free throw line extended. Now penetrates the lane. Almost blew out. Dixon of her shoes. And Maya scores two. 55-36.
Maya today with five points. Aaliyah Fisher has 12 balls stolen, and here come the Mean Green the other way with Fisher. And Malia to the rack in lane two in. Give her 14 now. 55 38. 3.30 and counting to go until the end of this one. Glad to have you tune in today, whether you've tuned in via the Varsity Network app or YouTube today. Thanks to our good friends Greg and David for facilitating that. Trinity Gooden called with her third foul. That is the second team foul in the quarter. And it is North Texas ball. Inbound to Jackson. Jackson, Cleary, Mallard, Gamez, and Townley. Maddie Cleary is in, 5'10", sophomore from Prosper, Texas. Jumper left block on the way. Jackson cannot finish. The rebound pulled in by Ashley Austin. Final three now. And Rice will regroup before they host the UAB coming up on Thursday and then FIU on Saturday at 2. I'll be back with you for that one. For those of you who are the Rice faithful, Austin missed it from the right block. Rebound North Texas. Time ticking away, down to two and a half and change. And it is very quiet in this gymnasium right now. 55-38. Mean Green will improve to 12 and 10, six and six in Conference USA. Bit of a log jam in the middle of the West Division right now. Drive left, floater on the way, that missed. Clary, rebound pulled in by Rice. And to see a few subs come in here for the Mean Green on the next dead ball as Jaylee Mitchell will call off the troops who start or play a significant amount of time and bring in some of the reserves. Three good Ashley Austin for the Rice Owls. And that puts Rice past the 40 point mark. It's 55 41. And we have a timeout for the subs. Magruder is back in for the Mean Green. So is Emma Vilas Gomez. And there was one more, too. Uh, we'll figure that out later on. Take a quick break and come back right after this. It's Rice University women's basketball from Learfield. A minute 51 to go in regulation. Down, set, head over to Little Woodrow's and Rice Village. They've got post-game drink specials that college students cannot refuse. On Mondays, enjoy college nights with $2 domestic grass and $3 shots. Any other day, bring your Rice ID and get more great specials. With a large patio deck, board games, and trivia nights, Little Woodrow's is definitely the place to be. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram to stay updated with our upcoming events. Little Woodrow's, the official Rice House game day headquarters. Minute 51 remains to be played. Regulation 55-41, North Texas. Magruder, Cleary, Gomez, along with Vilas Gomez and Johnson, the five on the floor for the team representing Denton. Team representing Houston with Fisher, Jackson, Bukanevich, Austin, and Gooden. Final 90 seconds remaining. Post game wrap up coming up. Far corner three, and that was a little too off there for Magruder, rebound Rice, and then they throw it away the midcourt timeline. Almost lost her footing was Gomez as she settles it down. A sizable win here tonight, should say this afternoon for the Mean Green. They won by seven at the Super Pit back on Thursday. They'll win by more than that here today. Ball went out on the near sideline and it's awarded to the Owls with 67 seconds to go. And Matt Peterson will be with you for the Rice fans on Thursday night, 7 p.m. versus UAB. Now we're down to a minute one and a bump foul here as Jackson went down. And that's called on Anaya Johnson, 6'2 freshman from Colleen, Texas. Played at Red Oak High. Off the inbound, it's Rice basketball. Now we're under a minute. Good in right wing into Austin. 
Left side, Jackson driving baseline, reverse lay-in, but foul before that. Clock stops with 52 seconds remaining. Second foul on Johnson. Second North Texas team foul. Foul was on the floor, Rice to inbound here. 55-41, North Texas leads. Maya for three, missed it from the right wing off the front part of the rim. Fisher the rebound, far corner, good in for a tray. Caught the heel, ball tipped up, it's loose, settled in by Austin who goes up and is hacked. The physicality still remains, regardless of the score. Foul called on Emma Vilas Gomez. And that is Emma's second. Team foul three. Ashley Austin rolls in the first as someone shouted woo before the free throw was released. Don't know if that was an encouragement or distraction. Didn't happen the second time and didn't go in. 55-42, 37 seconds and counting to go in regulation play. Give and go pass, Johnson missed the lay-in. Rebound pulled in by the Rice Owls. The shot clock is about a half second ahead of the game clock here. Good and a prayer from the left block extended, rolled out, went down awkwardly. She's had a physical game. Suffered a bit of a sore spot below her left rib back in the third. Shot clock is switched off and North Texas is content to run out the clock. The Mean Green victorious this afternoon over Rice. Final score 55-42 in 3-2 and 1 seconds, and that is all she wrote. With the win, the Mean Green go to 12-10 and 6-6 and six and six in conference play. Rice falls to 7-11 and 2-8 and and in CUSA. Final score, the North Texas Mean Green 55, the Rice Owls 42. Back to put a bow on this one after this timeout. This is Rice University women's basketball from Learfield.